In my Incredible Science live show, I blow people away with some of the experiments that I do. Some of my most favorite experiments in the show are the fog ring launchers. I start off small and work my way up. But nothing can compare to the one that Mark Rover built on his Crunch Labs channel. And when I saw that, I knew I needed to get that for my shows. Problem number one, I'm not Mark Rover. I'm not a NASA engineer. I don't even know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Problem number two, this is not Crunch Labs. I don't have the space or budget that Mark Rover has to build something so massive. And I need it to be portable so I can bring it to my shows. My goal is to make that massive giant fog ring launcher and to make it Portable. Some say it's impossible. Scientifically, this is basically impossible. I say it's possible. Watch. I'm good at a lot of things, but I also know I'm not good at a lot of things. And building things from scratch is not my strength. I'm great at putting things together, creatively coming up with ideas of things that are already existing, but to sketch out a plan of how to build it, no clue. So I walked into Home Depot with zero idea of what I needed. This is definitely lighter and it's taller. It doesn't make that nice perfect circle. Let me try one more time with that. Canon in a way. Plastic something, $34.98. These right here are steel window wells, $36 each. So it'll be about 100 bucks to get both. I think I'm gonna try both. I need one to work. We gotta do it because I don't know which one will work better. I don't know if any will work at all. And I wanna give it the best shot. I need to find a way how to connect this into a circle. Like this, I know how to connect. I just need the bolts. I don't know what size bolts, but shouldn't be too hard to figure out. You just try it out. So I, I got the big giant plastic piece. And what I liked about it is it, it was relatively easy enough to fold into a sphere. I, I wasn't sure how I was gonna keep it closed. So I got some duct tape. Duct taped it, I had this massive cannon. It needs to be a firm structure, so I wasn't 100% sure if it would be firm enough for me when I'm hitting the plastic on it. How perfect of a fit is that? Wow. We're gonna fog this up, we're gonna count down, and we're gonna pray and hope that this works. Three, two, one. Oh, man. And the main part was, it wasn't really that portable. It was light, but I can't walk around in the streets or to my car or bring something that big. However light it is, it's still massive. The metal one, heavier, but I can take it apart. So Luke and I, my awesome editor, we decided that this would make more sense because this is actually portable. I think that'll push the fog out a lot better. I'm gonna cut a hole in the middle of this and use that is our vortex ring. How's that for a circle? That is pretty good. That is more than pretty good. That is amazing. All right, so I had the sphere and knowing science, when you scale something up proportionately, the science always works. It's not a guess, it's not a magic trick. So I knew it should work if I had the sphere. We're gonna fill up the machine. I built it, I put the plastic on, hit it out just like I do in the big garbage can one. Three, two, one and nothing, smoke was just falling out. 1.30 a.m., 2.30 a.m., 3.30 a.m. I needed to finish it by the night, by that night. I was all out of ideas, I was almost ready to give up, and then I realized maybe the other side of it needed a bungee, some more air pushing it out. Even though the garbage can one didn't need it, I was able to hit the back of the garbage can and the fog ring was able to come out. But maybe since this is so much bigger, it needed even more force. So I took my last bungee, attached it with some cables, some clamps, all right, here it goes. Hold back, let go. <laughs> Boom! Yes! Yes, it works! That is epic. All right, that is just perfect. Gonna go to sleep. I went to sleep 4.30 in the morning, but I never felt more alive. I never felt more excited about a project than I did at that moment. I was not tired at all. And I knew my son was sleeping. I wanted him to experience it firsthand, the excitement and the thrill that I did seeing that it worked. We're gonna fog this up and see if a fog ring comes out. Yuda, what do you think? It's gonna work. All right, let's do it. Moment of truth. In three, I'm pulling it back. Two, one, do you see that? Right? Look at that ring. His reaction was priceless. Now the goal was to make it portable that I could bring to my shows, that I can show you guys in person and have you just as excited as I was and my son was. This is now portable. I'm gonna take it apart. 
bring it somewhere, put it back together, and prove that the giant foggering cannon is portable. Here we go. Whoa, nice. Try to get it. You can still get it. Boom. Whoa, you okay? I have never been more excited about a project, about an experiment working than this, because this is something I've wanted ever since I saw Mark Rober's video, like over a year ago. If you enjoyed today's video, and you wanna see more of my science videos, follow for more, and until next time, stay incredible.